I'm like, turn it down. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to watch a show. <laughs> to another episode on the Big Dane podcast. Did you have a wonderful weekend? We're getting into the last day or so of September. What is that about? I mean, what did I even do? <laughs> um, just a few reminders for everyone. Um, you can listen now on Stitcher, which is fabulous. And I just saw an email that I received just from being a Prime member that Amazon now has podcasts. Yeah, isn't that cool? So I'm like, oh, I got to hop on that and get myself on there. So you guys have another avenue to listen on. So you don't have to just, you know always listen on Spotify or whatever platform you use. Um, but I totally get it how some people like to be loyal to their platforms, right? Um, so that's there. And remember, you just go to the website, thebigdamepodcast.com slash podcasts, and you can select whichever platform you want to listen on, right? So, and if you stay on there, you think, you know, I have a question for the Big Dane. So you just hop over to the contact section and send me a note. Mm -hmm. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all the fun stuff on uh, my coffee account. In fact, there's something up there as we speak that's something a little bit new and fun. It's a little video. Um, and speaking about videos, so my last episode, I actually... I video recorded, I'd say the majority of it, because I know in the beginning I was telling you guys about the giveaway, so I was like, I don't really need to start it right now, and then I started it right after, and um, it was, it was really fun, um, I don't know, you get to see, obviously, like, all my, like, my face expressions, so it's like, sometimes if I'm pausing a little, you know, I'm, like, making a weird face to, like, think of the next word or sentence, you know what I'm saying, so I haven't decided how I kind of want to distribute that out because I know eventually I want to be on YouTube and have like that. Um, I know that's going to be a very manual process to upload everything. It's just not meant for podcasts, right? So it's not going to um, kind of grab the, the RSS feed, um, you know, automatically like a, a regular uh, podcast platform will do for you like Spotify and Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, all of that. I'm going to have to enter literally every single episode myself. Um, it's just a little time consuming, that's all. So I think eventually it'll be on there, but maybe in the meantime, I can give you maybe a little clip or something on the coffee page, right? And there, again, for, for that icon, you would go to my website and the coffee icon is there so you could click right over and see what's up. So, but yeah, it was really fun. And I looked back, I was like, wow, this is like really cool. So um, while I don't want to make it a full video podcast, because that's a whole different, you know, rabbit hole. Um, but I think it would be fun just here and there to, to show you guys like, hey, this is this is my face like behind each episode and sure you see my face like on Instagram and Facebook things like that but just like me actually like speaking and like you know really hearing me and my face expressions and can some I can't hold back so <laughs> anywho there you have it um and just to two other quick updates so since I was at the shore uh the other week in Ocean City, New Jersey. Um, went down with Matt's family, so it was a ton of fun. It was nice to get away. And we, um, well, Kathy and I rented bikes. That's his mom. And then Matt already had his bike, and um, his sister had uh, her own bike, too. So 
and I didn't want to bring down my like road bike. I'm like, oh, I'm going to look like an asshole if I bring this down and have my clips and yeah. So read it one of the cruiser bikes and it was so fun. So we're getting down like to the very end um, uh, before we turn around. And so there's these these public restrooms. So I was like, oh, fabulous. You know, let me hop in there, you know, empty my bladder, you know. <laughs> and I went into they had let me think a like a handicap one. Right. So and it was kind of like unisex. So. You know, it wasn't like, all right, here's the women's. I think they did have that, but I was like, oh, well, I'll just go here since it was, like, open. And, okay, I literally step inside, and I'm like, are you serious? Mothballs. It smells like mothballs. And I thought, oh, my gosh, I need to write this down so I can share with you guys um, because I it was just so strong. It wasn't even like a little like hint, you know, with maybe like blended in with like a an apple cider scent for the fall. No, this was straight on like someone literally had a wheelbarrow filled with mothballs and just dumped them in and they're just like hidden in the closet or in the ceiling. Yeah, it's just like just permeating like just through the door and all the wall oh my gosh so that was that um yeah so okay today we are getting into living with friends living on your own living with significant other and i have done all three so i'll tell you all about it um so and i think you know for the younger listeners um some maybe just you know, found um, a place to live with some friends and it's like your first time, like more as an adult, you know, I'm not talking about college because that's totally different. As an adult, you have a job, you know, you're making your own money and now you're like, great, you know, I'm out, you know, from my parents and out on my own. And I'll say for me, it was uh, 2014 because I, excuse me, um, was at home for two years after college, saved money, and then went out with friends. And that's when I was here in Conchie the first time. And honestly, it it's such a great experience to like be out like and live with your friends and just like have a great old time. Um, I definitely recommend doing that um, because you you learn about people, you learn obviously about their habits and like more even like deeper like like a deeper connection with them right so I think it would be harder to like be say living at home and then say you did have like a long-term or not even a long-term relationship but like oh like my boyfriend and I have been together for like eight years you know or whatever and then you want to jump basically from your parents into a place with your significant other that mm, 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 I just I don't see uh, that happening like I just don't think it's a good idea to be honest Um, because when you live with friends like it's such a change from it's a step up from college because it's like wow like okay I'm on my own again right but now I have like my own routine, I have a job, I'm earning my own money, um, and it's just a good feeling too, like I'm on my own, like I'm not relying on mom and dad, right? And it's just fun to be around like other people and your friends and, and, and share those experiences, especially like in your 20s. So for me, yeah, it was like my early 20s um, and we just like went out about in Conchi. We were all single and it was fun. I think that's the other thing too, like, and depending on some of your friends, if maybe they do have a significant other and, but you're living with them, kind of depends on the person because maybe they're not as willing or wanting to go out with you. Um I feel like you might see that Um, It just kind of depends because like sometimes they'll be like your wing woman shout out to Paige because she 
she was all she was always out with us because she you know her and Jeff had been together for a long time and then they get they end up getting married and obviously knew they were going to marry each other which was wonderful um but she would always have her backs like it was so fun like oh my god like we she was with me one night we went to Conchie Corner Tavern and I remember trying to get like the bartender's number and gosh that's another story but um you know I'm like writing it down on a napkin because like what else am I gonna do like oh here's my phone but like what I you know (laughs) so um yeah and then there's times like when my friend Sam um when she was still single and I remember she came over on like Valentine's Day and we went out and it was basically like almost a snowstorm because we were walking down like Spring Mill and then we were getting close to Ellie Moan and um so I was like walking I called them my winter wedges because they were wedges but like kind of had like fur on them and whatnot so they were so fun and made me like super tall because I'm super short and I'm just walking along totally slip just from the snow before I know I'm like on my ass and I'm like oh my god actually I think I fell on my knee too like the way I fell but I was like I'm good I'm good I got this (laughs) and we get there and I thought I was like oh my god I think my ankle's like broken (laughs) but I was fine um but like she it was always you know fun to just go out your friends and enjoy the time and and when Allison was living with me and we would just like get up like Saturday morning and I remember it being the fall and we're like ooh, today looks like a great day for like day drinking or like I think we went over and got some PSL some pumpkin spice lattes and like we were so productive in the morning and then before you know we're like oh we're ready to party like let's crack open a beer like just things like that the little things really made the experience so much more fun and um so that I mean you you just got to do like if if you're thinking about it if you're trying to figure out like do I move in with my significant other do I wait like Honestly, you have your entire life to be with this person, so enjoy it with your friends, you know? You don't have to rush into something because everyone else is doing it. Like, you decide when it's right. So if you need another year to hang in with your friends and, you know, enjoy all the girl time, do it because... Before you know it, everyone is going to have um, your, you know, or is already in a relationship and you're just not going to have those same times together. It's it's just a matter of time and whether you like it or not, it just happens because life just goes on and we grow up. So, um, so another thing I'll say um, with living alone So I was still in Conchi, and then with, so let me think, this was, this was kind of towards, well, halfway through, I would say, of 2017. So I was in Conchi for like three years, almost, and um, I really wasn't planning on moving. And with my sister-in-law being in real estate, her and my brother, uh, they they like to buy several properties and rent them out and and whatnot. So she had found something in Havertown, and here it had this third floor, own entrance, you know, kind of just enough space for one person, and literally like everything was up there: washer, dryer, bathroom, shower, dishwasher. Although it was like a European dishwasher because it was very petite and like skinny and it's so small. Um, and same with the oven, it was hysterical, but, um, and my brother is like, he's like, hey, Dane, like, um, do you think, you think you want to live up there? And I just, I was trying to weigh all, like, the pros and cons and whatnot, because really, like, I would be with them, but not in the same 
space where I'm sharing the space with them. Like, I'm like, I don't want to live with a married couple, basically. Like, you guys need your own space. I don't want to be, like, that close. But I thought, you know what? This is probably a good opportunity because I don't know when or or where, like, I could get a good deal like that to live by myself. And then I also had in the back of mind, like, I wanted to get a cat. So, because with my roommates, um, one of the girls, like, she had, she had a cat. And he was the best. And he was such a cool cat and was social, you know, didn't bite or anything like that. And I thought, it would be so fun to have, like, my own cat because I grew up with a cat and, and whatever. And, um... I thought, you know, eventually when I get my own place, I want to get a cat. So before you know it, I said, let's do it. (laughs) And we like moved like right before they actually got married, which was like kind of intense um, just because it was like hectic with everything going on and the wedding coming up. So um, but I was so glad I did it. It was so nice to just have your own space. You don't have to worry about anyone else. You can literally do whatever you want. Like, you don't have to wait for, like, someone to come home and, like, I don't know if you, like, depending on, you know, how your your roommates and your relationships are, right? Maybe you cook for each other. You share meals. You do this. You do that. You don't have to do any of that. You just, you eat when you want. You make whatever you want. And, you know, if you don't feel like cleaning it up right away, that's fine, Because with your own space, you're just, it's just you. So it's not like, oh, well, now I got to clean up this whole extravagant meal so, you know, so-and-so can make their stuff. Nope. Nope. When? (laughs) So um, I really enjoyed it. And I'd say I think it was the second year. Yeah, so 2018 in March. That's when I got Moo my cat. So it was so nice to have her up there with me and just hang out. And I'm like, wow, just me and the cat. Like, this is pretty great. You know, it's quiet. You know, there's everything. I can decorate how I want to decorate. I don't have to share things and like, okay, well, I'll buy this curtain and then you buy this curtain. Like, okay. And now, uh, no, thank you. Um, And I know some people, some roommates, like, maybe they'll, like, share the groceries, you know, if you're really close or, like, um, you know, cook together. And I, you know, you don't have to think about that. So, and it's just nice to kind of, like, be, be, like, literally on your own, like, in your own thoughts, like, can come out of the shower naked and walk around. Like, I was on the third floor. No one's seeing me. That's why it was pretty great being on the third floor. Um, You know, like, ridiculous things. And if I did need something, if I did need help with something, I could walk downstairs. I'd have to, like, walk outside to the patio, walk inside to their house, and I'd, like, knock on their screen door. It was, like, every day I'm like, hello, hello. (laughs) And, you know, say hi to to Scott and Abby. And it was so fun having them right there. Like, we hung out, like, so much. Yeah, so pretty great. And then once I met Matt and we decided, yeah, it's been a year now that we've been living together. So, and that's a huge step for, for everyone in general. I mean, whether you've been together with someone for three years, you've been together for some with someone for, for 10 years, you decide to move in together finally, like, it's all the same, right? No matter how much you know this person, living with this person is totally different. Like, I had an idea of what it was going to be like, um, but you really don't know until... You're in the same, same house with each other. You go upstairs. Oh, you're still there. You come downstairs. Oh, you're still there. (laughs) There's no separation. (laughs) So it's like once you decide that, like, all right, let's do this. Like, you're not getting any alone time back. And I feel like I know I'm saying it in, like, a bad way, but I'm, like, really not. But it's just 
I'm trying to put it into a perspective for you if you haven't done it yet. And so enjoy the time that you have, you know, having like all that independence what you want, because at the end of the day, it's going to come down to more compromising and sharing and just being like in somewhat a routine together right so just all things to consider and honestly if you're not ready then don't do it if you have like even an inkling that you're like oh like that it's not gonna go well or you're not ready then don't do it simple as that don't do it don't force it so um you do what's right when you're ready you know don't worry about anyone else don't look at social uh oh my god I was about to say like too many things at once. Um, I was trying to say, don't look at social media and all that. Like, oh, I'm engaged. Oh, we're going to go buy a house. Oh, you know, who gives a shit? Am I right? So just worry about yourself. You're on your own timeline. Things happen differently for everyone. And that's something that you have to accept. So um, things like... I don't know, like, so Matt and I, like, we'll, we'll kind of plan out, like, our grocery list and, like, our meals, and we'll decide, like, all right, like, I'll cook this night, you cook that night, and then whoever doesn't cook that night cleans up. So we have, like, a nice little system because, I mean, it get, gets tiring if you're going to cook, you're going to clean. Heck, just coming back here for a little bit after the shore, um, I wasn't there the whole time. And I'm like, oh, I got to cook. I got to do this. I got, you know, it's like you're used to having this other person next to you, this other partner to help you out. And I'm like, oh, my God, I need to do it all my, by myself. <laughs> so it's a lot and it's crazy. But, yeah, it's time consuming. And I think what I like about it, too, is we get to share meals together. Whereas, like, when you're living alone, obviously that doesn't happen like, oh, okay, moo, like, sit down, like, let's eat, like, oh, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna share a meal with my cat, <laughs> well, she does, at least, like, while she's been here, like, Matt and I will sit at the table, and you've seen some of the pictures, but, um, and then she'll sit at, like, the other, like, chair, and, like, she'll try to, like, come up on the table, I'm like, no, 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 but she'll just, like, smell our food, and, like, you can just stay there, just, Take it all in, smell all the smells, you know, all that jazz. But then, you know, then there's other times where I'm just like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> um, you know, with it being a row home in Conchi and between all the neighbors on either side of you with the extra little noise, which isn't too bad, but you kind of get used to it. But like upstairs and downstairs, it's really not that far away. So if Matt's like playing around on his music, making music, whatever, I'm like, turn it down. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to watch a show <laughs> because, you know, it's not that far. So and even if he shuts the door, I can still like kind of hear you. So um, sometimes I'll just ask him, like, can you just like put on your headphones? <laughs> And just kind of, like, do it that way. Um, so it's just kind of funny, like, how things, I guess maybe things you wouldn't have thought you'd be saying or, like, experiencing, you know, these things come up. Also, yeah, with all the the sharing and the new routine and you have this other person in your house with you, um, yeah, the, the quiet time, you know, that has... Is out the window. <laughs> um, just because there's not, at least here, there's not a lot of other areas to kind of like, I don't know, just really have a quiet time. Like if you want to read a book, like I feel like you need to go like down in like a dungeon or something <laughs> because with music upstairs and then you literally have the downstairs and that's it. And then... Before you know it, someone's like cutting their their lawn, and then I feel like the whole day someone's cutting their lawn with all the noise. So, hey. <laughs> and then other times with like cleaning and things like that, like Matt's a little bit messy, but he's learning, and I knew it was gonna be like that, but it's totally fine. 
Um, just sometimes I'm like, clean up your shit. I'm like, this isn't a frat house. <laughs> but really, I mean, pick up your stuff. Okay, I don't want any mold growing in my cups. All right, so just put it away. Put it away. Um, while I am definitely, I don't like too much clutter, um, you know, but sometimes you just have too much stuff. So it's like, what do I do? But I don't know. I just like to be neat and have things clean. Okay. You make a mess when you cook. All right. Clean it up. Clean it up. All right. But, um, yeah but it's been fun i think we've learned a lot about each other like living together and um and yeah so overall i would say like don't be afraid to speak up about something like if you're living with roommates or one other person or significant other like just just talk about it there's something happening where like oh my gosh, he's eating my food, like, then just say something politely, like, no big deal, like, don't try to text about it, like, come on, like, that's, like, literally the worst idea that you could ever think about, because if you think you're gonna try to solve a problem and really explain every single emotion, um, it's not happening with emojis, let me tell you that, no, what are you going to put, like, angry emojis and then a, an angel emoji? I'm like, oh, I'm just, like, angry, but then also, like, trying to keep it light and, uh, no. I mean, just take two seconds, you know, could sit down, have a glass of wine, right? If you're watching TV, maybe bring it up then where it's, like, a nice, like, mood and, and whatever and and chat about it. You're adults. I remember we had a um a little issue we had with the um what's it called like the air conditioning and heat when we first lived in Kanchi and we were all trying to like figure out like a good temperature because the heat I mean it was it's supposed to be like full like central air but it wasn't getting upstairs and it wasn't getting all the way downstairs so it's like well what do you do because if you keep cranking cranking it for like at least when it was, you know, cold out, it's not getting to the downstairs. So why keep cranking it, right? So, like, things like that, just, you know, we talked about it and it was fine, you know, and that was it. Like, get out of your comfort zone and just talk about it. You have a voice for a reason. So, so that's that. Um, and I'd say share things, you know. At least, I mean... I'm always telling them, I'm like, share, you're, stop hogging everything, <laughs> I'm like, just share with me, <laughs> um, and I think even in, in Kanchi, what was nice that I liked, every now and then, like, we would all kind of, like, cook for one another, like, maybe, like, once a month, like, we kind of rotate and do a big meal, and, like, oh, like, here, you can have some, too, or, like, but we made sure, like, everyone, like, like the food and not just like all right here's something i made and now like you don't like it so bye so so that's that but honestly i loved every single stage of it with living with people and then living on my own and then now living with matt so it's all been fun um but they're all very different experiences and if you're not ready for like the next step or the next phase then just wait it out. Wait until you're ready and yeah, do it at your own pace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's nothing worse when you're in a situation and now like how do you get out of it? It's not, it's not that easy. So what's up? All right, my friend. So I'm going to wrap it up here for you and be sure to listen at thebigdamepodcast.com slash podcast. Pick and choose your favorite platform. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Stitcher. Yep, yep, yep. Um, you can send me a note on the contact page there on my website. And um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, right? 
And I can't believe it already. I'm one month away from getting my tattoo. The the candy skull. Yeah, I said that right. Um, or also known as Calavera. Yeah, so it's the skull, the, the day of the dead. You know what I'm saying? I think last time, when I say I think, I mean I did say it kind of backwards. Sometimes I feel like I have like dyslexia. I'm like trying to think of it, but I'm like, that's that doesn't sound right at all. So yeah, it's the Calavera that I'm getting next month. So it'll be like just in time for Day of the Dead. How cool is that? So there you go. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. So we'll see you next time. Bye.